Welcome to L1 Auto Video. We are going to show you how L1 Print Verifier combined with L1 Print Analyzer allow digital printers to maintain their output quality. And this despite ambient machine and substrate variations. The solution made by I1 is called closed loop for digital printing. So how does it work concretely? In your digital printing workflow, you have of course a digital print device, a measurement device, and then I1 print verifier is installed on print device computer. The goal of print verifier is first to make measurements, then to show assessment result on print device computer, and finally to send measurement data to our one print analyzer, which is used as a central server to monitor and calibrate your printing device. Typically, your digital print device will be linearized according to manufacturer recommendation. After what, you can create its profile. For this demo, let's say that we want your digital print device to be compliant with Grackle Core aims and neutral printing density curves. In this case, you will create an original device link profile going from Grackle Core aims to your linearized profile printer. This device link profile will be uploaded into your device digital front end or RIP, but also inside our one print analyzer. So at any time, our one print analyzer is synchronized with your digital front end. So now let's have a look at R1 print verifier. You can see here that I use a job template corresponding to Grackle Core aims and G7 tolerances. As I said before, uh, I will use print verifier to make measurement, show assessment results on print device computer, and send measurement data to R1 print analyzer. To do so, you need to make sure that print verifier preferences have an option activated. This option is the export measurements for our one print analyzer. Here I have created a folder called APS input HP Indigo 4 color in which all the measurements made in our one print verifier will be exported to be taken into account by our one print analyzer. In fact, if you go into print analyzer in the HP Indigo 4 color queue, you can see that the data input is the same folder. So I have created in R1 Print Analyzer this queue with traditional queue identifier, data input, and tone reproduction curve calculation settings. Um, this queue is uh, set with a job color ticket corresponding with a Grackle color aims and G7 tolerances for neutral printing density curve. But what is important for closed loop for digital printing solution is the tone reproduction curve adjustment generation. You can see here that a new export file format is available. This file format is a device link profile including color table plus tone reproduction curve adjustment. And as I said before in the first part of this demo, we have uploaded the initial device link profile. Now, APS is ready to be used. Since I have calibrated my instrument uh, and my print device correctly, my device is compliant with Grackle neutral printing density curves, but because of machine drifts during the production, you will say that my device is not compliant again. In such a case, operator just need to go into the turn reproduction curve adjustment tab, generate a new device link profile that includes uh, updated tone reproduction curve adjustment, generate and export it. You can have access to the folder here to take the device link profile and upload it, it into the digital front end of your print device and apply it on the RIP. The immediate consequence is that the next measurement the print device will be compliant again. So you, you can see here that our one print analyzer has compensated for the machine variation during production. 
This is the first case scenario you can encounter during production. But another scenario is that because of any reason you had to change paper during the production. During the production or between two jobs and again your print device is not compliant anymore. As before, operator will go into the tone reproduction curve adjustment tab, generate a new device in provide, export it and apply it on the rip. And as in the previous case, the new measurement on this new paper, the print device will be compliant again. And here our one print analyzer has generated an up updated device in profile to compensate output variation with paper change. So to conclude, and this demo has shown you how L1 print verifier combined with L1 print sanitizer can compensate for machine variation during production, but also for output variation with paper change. And really, we can say that L1, thanks to this closed loop for digital printing solution, allows you to print the right colors all day long and on all papers. Thank you. If you have any question, please contact us at info at